Hello everybody, and I hope everyone's having a good day today. I thought I would come on and I would share some happy mail with you. Ah, I've been kind of waiting for some of these things. I was online and I was able to join a live chat. Now, I want to make sure I get this correct. April from Britain Homestead had a live chat and she was playing a trivia game. And there was quite a few participants and we had a great time. And I believe it may have been with the CAHOOTS program. I'm not exactly sure. But the questions pertain to different things with gardening. And it, I found it to be very informative with the questions. I got one um, outright wrong. <laughs> and then uh, a couple of them I had to guess on. I was looking at the answers. I thought, well, these two can be eliminated. And I took a guess. So in that aspect, very educational. And April, thank you. I had a wonderful time playing. And I look forward to more lives. And I do enjoy watching your videos. I'll post a link to her uh, YouTube channel uh, below this video so you can go check her out. Uh, she does things with the homestead. And it. I just love it. I just love it. So at the end of the game, uh, she put the program up by the camera. And on the very top line, there was me. I won. <laughs> I was so excited and there were three different prizes to choose from. One of them was the ball utensil set. Um, another prize was the Farmer's Almanac 2021 and then another prize was um, packets of seeds. Well I chose the ball utensil set and I received it in this package. Whoops, I'm going to cover up the address. Okay. And I was very, very excited. I have uh, started getting back into gardening and being in the city I have a very small amount of property but I did uh, set up a garden bed and last year I planted tomatoes and I had a lot of tomatoes and I went ahead and canned salsa. So my first batch was really mild and my son David is like well okay there's it's flavor but so I tried a second recipe and he's like mom this one's too hot. So I am more like, hey Goldilocks, wait a second. <laughs> but I did the third batch and he said, perfect, this is the recipe. So I started canning. I was canning pints and quarts of it and it turned out really awesome. So I was really happy about that. Uh, however, last year was a big run on canning supplies. Seeds, canning supplies, they were just selling out. Uh, I don't have the right canner that I want, so I'm hoping this year I'll be able to get that. And I definitely did not have canning utensils that I needed. So, I got the package, and this is the ball utensil set, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and open it so that you know what's inside of these. If I can, no, there's tape. And I thought I was prepared. Ah, I'll just rip the top. Okay. Nothing like just ripping into a box. I love it. <laughs> okay, so, in this utensil set. Okay, like I said, this is the ball utensil set. Okay, and there is this, a, a funnel, as it were. Put it over the jar and put it in so you're not getting everything all over the outside of the jar. That's awesome. And then there's the stick. I mentioned what this is called. I should look it up and see. And it doesn't give me, oh, okay, this is referred to as the jar funnel. This is referred to as the bubble remover to create head space. And I do know what to do with this. You have the jar and you put it inside the jar, okay? And it helps get rid of the bubbles and things like that. Uh, the other one included is the jar lifter. And th this is awesome. This is awesome. I had a jar lifter last fall, and then I had a moment, I completely lost my mind, I don't know what I was thinking of, but this part goes down, for those that aren't familiar with canning, goes down and you clap it over the hot jar and you bring it up. I had a moment where I decided to use it this way. So the plastic was in the boiling water around the jar. These don't hold up too well when you have a dumb moment, okay? Uh, my idiot moment. I'm like, oh no. So, but I managed to get through it. I thought, well, I'll just get another one. And then I was so, so fortunate 
to win this. And thank you, April. Thank you very much. And I just love my prize. Uh, like I said, below the video, I will go ahead and I will post a link so you can go check her out. Uh, she videotapes things in the homestead and she's just awesome. She is just awesome. My next bit of happy mail is from Tennessee Mountain Garden. Oh, I gotta cover up it. <laughs> Tennessee Mountain Garden. Now, he is a YouTuber and his name's Robert. And Robert has like uh, little tidbits of advice. He shows in his videos um, about his garden and how he's starting the seeds. Uh, one of them that caught my attention, it may have been the thing that brought me over there, was the fact that he was starting his onions from seed. I had never tried that. I had, um, I guess, been in tradition where you go somewhere to a store or uh, to the co-op and you buy your uh, onion bulbs, your onion sets, and that's how you would start your onions. And I had bought some seeds, onion seeds, and then I kind of almost, almost had buyer's remorse. But then I came across Robert's uh, videos and his YouTube channel. Uh, I'll put a link down below. And I, I've learned a lot. Uh, he has a lot of information, just little things here and there to help you get your seeds started and soil mixtures. And he's very, very informative. I really recommend him. So he had a drawing and a lot of people entered the drawing, but he had um, his prize was a seed giveaway. And I recognized some of the seeds that he was giving away. I recognized the company names. I thought, okay, this would be nice. Robert, you really outdone yourself, okay? Because <laughs> I got this, and there is a note with it I'm going to read. And that is, thank you for supporting our YouTube channel. Both Pam and I are thrilled, his wife, that you were one of our lucky winners in the 2021 Spring Seed Giveaway. Our wish is that you and your family enjoy the vegetables these seeds produce. We also ask that you let others know how important gardening truly is. Have a blessed rest of the year and we hope you look forward to gardening in 2021 as we do. Sign, Tennessee Mountain Garden, Robert. Now in the, in the drawing, okay, it was just random drawing, um, and then they just put the seeds with the winners, just kind of random. What I received is from the seed guy, Heirloom Seeds. Now I'm gonna have to look up that web, oh, there's a website on here too. Okay, I'll post that down below. Now this is a company I have not heard of, the seed guy, Heirloom Seeds. www.theseedguy.net. Like I said, I'll post this below the video. And what I received in the mail was Detroit Dark Red Beet Seeds. Now this is the packet. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna and is that gonna go no it's gonna stay blurry okay sorry about that I don't have dark red beet seeds he managed to send me a prize that I didn't have I I am really impressed thank you Robert I, I didn't have those seeds and now I'm excited to get them started and I will find a place because my mother-in-law loves beets so I am sure she's going to be looking forward to that and wanting <laughs> those uh, seeds to definitely succeed. All right, my next bit of happy mail is from my dear friend Edna. Okay, uh, Edna has a YouTube channel and she is known as Granny Crafter Edna. I'll put her link down below. Check her out. I just love Edna uh, when she does her videos. She's like. Um, a favorite great aunt or a favorite uh, grandmother and I, I just love watching her, her video. She's got a tutorial out right now uh, for an Afghan. I believe um, she did the tutorial for her granddaughter, Angel. So I, I'll put her link down below and uh, go ahead and check her out. But she uh, sent me a card. There's a little backstory. I had um, was watching her and I thought I wanted to surprise her so I yarn bombed her. Okay, I got her address, and I sent a box of yarn and just surprised the heck out of her. Uh, she really loved it. And then uh, she has a husband, Wayne, and I, I felt kind of, well, maybe her husband should be included, but he doesn't uh, do the crocheting or anything like that. So, uh, but I did find out he likes fishing, so I sent him a little 
fishing surprise Happy Meal package and from my understanding uh, he loved it as well and she has been using the yarn I sent she's doing beautiful projects it amazing um, I love her work uh, when she's uh, doing the crocheting and I really love it when she gets on film and shows us what she's working on and this is the card um, and on it she had printed on a separate paper thank you so much thank you so very much for all the beautiful yarn can't wait to get started on a baby blanket but want to finish my poncho first the poncho beautiful starting a washcloth this morning with the black cotton may God bless from Granny Crafter Edna and like I said I'll have her link below and this is the card now I can't pronounce the name Wisteria Wisteria, Wisteria. and when you open the card and it's a pop-up it brought out the kid in me I really love this card that is beautiful card thank you so much Edna I'm definitely going to find a special place to put this up in my crafting room and make sure I can see it quite often. Thank you, Edna. Now, the other bit of Happy Meal I got, I took it out of the package because it really crinkles. Um, I, I do quite a bit of crocheting and I do a lot of different projects. Okay, I'm, I'm busy and I don't know if it's uh, like what Granny D would say, squirrel syndrome. I feel more like the raccoon with the rings under the eyes and hobbling across traffic days, most days, but uh, I normally don't do argurumi. I can't even pronounce it. Ha! I knew I was going to mess it up. Okay. I call it argue with me. Okay. These projects argue with me and I get frustrated. However, however, I have a son who is definitely all about Halloween. Okay, everything Halloween. He was born in October. It's like Halloween, birthday, the same holiday, the whole month, just for him. I'm convinced of it. And yes, I love you, Justin, and ah, you're not embarrassed, you know me. Okay, now, I got this book. I ordered it from Thrift Books. I'll put their link down below, too. Thrift Books um, is a website where you can just order, um, they're not all brand new. It's a website where you can order um, used, gently used books. And I find that vast majority of the time the prices are very reasonable. And like I said, I'll have that link down below. But I seen this book and I thought, I'm just going to have to do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to order it and I'm going to have to give it one more try. And this book is called Creepy Cute Crochet Zombies, Ninjas, Robots, and More. Okay and they look adorable and many of the fellow youtubers they do the argue with me I can't pronounce it the argue with me projects and they don't have the arguments because it just flows naturally for them so I'm really going to have to uh, kind of clear some projects and stay focused on this so I can do it uh, but I, I was just fascinated with um, the crazy I mean it's just crazy cuteness here okay they have the queen vampire, whoops, queen vampire, uh, there's another one, I was trying to mark this off ahead of time, the day of the dead gallon fellow, aren't those cute, I think Justin would love them, I think he's going to want some of these, just to put them on display, grim reaper, whoops, Oh, there was one more here. Uh, Amazon. So I'm looking forward in a way. Like I said, argue with me is not my uh, forte. Uh, I have a very low skill level, but I am going to focus and try to get some of these out for them. Okay, so that was my Happy Mail video. And I'm going to be doing some other videos later on. And it'll be unboxing with yarn. I really, back in the day, I used to just stick with Red Heart Yarn and do projects with Red Heart, and over the past few years, I've really expanded my base on that. Sorry about rubbing my nose while I've got allergies. Uh, so I'm going to do some yarn unboxings, and we can kind of explore the yarn world together, and there's a lot of uh, other YouTubers out there that do the yarn unboxing, and they're very um, explicit, technical, instructional. 
in the way that they unbox and present the yarn. I am on a learning curve. I'm more like a student with this. So, well, maybe we can learn this together. But I want to thank you for joining me. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And there's a little bell icon next to it. Click that on and hit all. And that way you can get updated videos. And I want to thank my friends and my family for their love and support as this uh, new adventure continues on. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in more videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>